Good morning guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I'm really hoping the engine is not making, sorry, I just literally caught a glimpse of what's in the back there, mid-sentence. We'll come to that in a second. I hope the engine's, maybe I'll just turn the engine off actually because I'm worried if it's making too, that's better, isn't it? Guys, there's a car seat in the back of my car. There is a baby's car seat in the back of my freaking car and I, ah! <laughs> these are the little things that make it all start to feel disgustingly real. And I'm like, that's one thing I wish someone would have told me at the start of all of this is that like, well, maybe it's different for, for different mums, but like for me, I still don't believe I'm about to have a baby. Like, I just don't, I don't believe it. Like, and when I see like the car seat and stuff, I'm like, well, that's funny because like, I don't know why I've got a car seat. Like I'm not having a baby. Like, I don't, I don't know what, like, why I just can't wrap my head around it. I just can't. And I just, I feel like it's really not gonna feel real until she's in mine and Tommy's arms. Even then, I know when I get past, like, when she's passed to me, I'm gonna be like, that's not my child. Like, that's not come from my stomach. I actually wanted to do this vlog today to try and, like, bring you guys some non-pregnancy content because I totally get that, like, not everybody wants to see me talking about the fact that I'm pregnant, like, for the 100th millionth time. Like, you all get it by this point. Um, so I just kind of wanted to vlog this week. I don't necessarily know if this is going to be my last vlog before I become a mum. It, it could be. I feel like maybe this vlog and then maybe one more. I definitely am going to have a couple more, like, videos, but they'll probably just be sit-down ones because sit-down videos right now are probably more my vibe like I'm not really getting about <laughs> to enough places to show you guys I am now full term I'm a full term pregnant woman and yeah it's 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 different it's definitely different to being like your four five even six like it's just very different you feel you feel pregnant finally one thing i will say though that i've been well i say that i can feel a little spot coming off my chin but my skin is still doing okay thankfully i feel like i see a lot of women say towards the end of their pregnancy their skin like breaks out and the hormones are flying all over the place but currently right now my skin is holding it together it's about the it's about the only thing that is holding it together the skin of my body is not holding it together it's obviously drowned in stretch marks but anyway i don't want to bore you guys with a long intro to this vlog i'm just gonna i'm gonna just vlog over even maybe just like today tomorrow i don't really know i'm just gonna vlog over the next couple of days and just show you guys what i'm up to i've actually got something really interesting and exciting on tomorrow which i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about and I feel like I've not had something on like that for ages. I'm like, working on a project, I can't tell you about it. It's not, it's actually not technically my project, but it's something that I have been involved in. <laughs> How do I explain this? Um, basically, I'm getting hair and makeup done tomorrow to go and film something. It's my last thing that I need to film for this thing that I've been doing. Um, it's not even a big deal because <laughs> I was like, I can't explain it, but you guys will see. In fact, you guys have probably worked it out because I actually already saw some stuff on TikTok the other day. I'm going to head off to France now to go and get my eyebrows and lashes done. I am so excited. I'm getting LVL. I've not had LVL in ages. I had a little bit of a break from it because I'm not going to lie, my lashes did start to suffer a little bit from having LVL too much. They did start to break a little bit. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say LVL is that good for your lashes. It's like, it's kind of like bleaching your hair, I suppose. First things first, though, little angel cake for the journey. These. <gasps> Oh, I love them so much. I could eat like five of these a day and they're really, really not good for you, but they're just so small and they look so harmless, but really, <laughs> my mum sometimes used to put these in my packed lunch box um, for school. And if it was one of those days where she did, it was gonna be a good day. Also, I'm trying to make the most of my last few car journeys, being able to play music as loud as I want and like not having to play Baby Shark on Spotify and, like nursery rhymes and stuff. Um, so I will be blasting my music on the way there. Honestly, if you don't know about these cakes, then. Right, engine on. Let's get out of here. I have just arrived. Also, this is how long I've like not seen people for. I've got 
Ellen's Christmas present here and I'm so excited to give it to her. I probably won't film her reaction because I get like so awkward giving people presents um but I got her the air um the, what, the headphones I've got that you guys know I love the air the apple air pod pro maxes i think they're called the ones that like go over your head um because she goes on so many walks so i feel like she's gonna really like this and i just got herself just voucher as well also if you're wondering what the hell that says it says ellers girl <laughs> we just all call her ellers girl i don't know why oh, no i do know why it's because it's her instagram handle ellers girl and i go to france to hopefully come out looking a little bit more alive than this I'm not at LVL, I've done in so long, I'm so excited. You'll get a really good lift. Mm. Just had my lashes and brows done, I'll show you in a second. But this is a lovely lunch, courtesy of Francesca Britz. <laughs> Cheese toasty and tomato soup. I am now back in the car again. I barely vlogged when I was in France. It was like Piccadilly Circus in there. But my brows and lashes are now done. My lashes have definitely changed um, since being pregnant they're definitely not as thick and full as they once were and now you won't believe it because i've never done this before i'm going to face gym <laughs> honestly like i am absolutely obsessed i've been having a face gym appointment at least once a week i think psychologically for me it just really helps me feel like my face is like i don't know the swelling i i always knew the swelling of the face would be something in pregnancy that i would really struggle with and i feel like the last couple of weeks i've been like oh my god i'm really struggling to look at my face like i just feel like it's gone puffy and swollen which is absolutely fine because that's like a totally normal thing to happen through pregnancy and it's also a nice little time that i get to have to myself i just walk around Trafford center i go around selfridges i get to see filter in selfridges um so yeah, I really love that like little like self-pampering time that I get to myself when I have a face gym appointment. Here we are. So this is Trafford Centre. I always park in the same place when I come to Trafford Centre. I always park near Selfridges because the car park's always like literally empty. Good evening, guys. So sorry. Quite a bit has happened today and I've really failed at vlogging it because, I mean, I don't need to say it for the millionth time, but when I'm out in public, the camera struggles to be in my hand it's just you know especially when i'm by myself like running around trafford center if you're one of those youtubers or i mean i'm not a youtuber but if you're one of those people that vlogs out in public by yourself like when i see girls doing it i'm like you are a, a, what a woman what a woman so since i last spoke to you i had my face gym appointment which was absolutely unbelievable i went and did a little bit of shopping round the trafford center of like just a small bit i'll probably show you later what i got actually i went to hollister surprise surprise i've been loving hollister as you guys know at the minute and i also did a little bit of shopping in skims whilst i was in selfridges so i'll show you what i got but i'm actually just currently running myself a bath my favorite time of the day like literally i can't explain to you how much i look forward to bath time i sound like a literal child like a six-year-old i have to show you guys this um what my sister got me for Christmas. So Zoe said to me, like, what do you want for Christmas? My mum and my sister kept pestering me. What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? So I was like, guys, I literally, I don't want anything. Um, but if you do get me something, I do need a water bottle for hospital. And I wanted to save this for my hospital bag. I took myself out with it then. I wanted to save this for my hospital bag, but I've been using it every single day since Christmas day. And oh my gosh, I have been drinking so much more water because of this water bottle. Um, I do fill half of it with ice because obviously my ice obsession is beyond a joke at the minute, but I've been loving this. Before I go upstairs, actually, I have to just show you, I got the cutest flower delivery from my friend Taylor. These literally made my whole day. She just put a little note with it being like, these are just some flowers before you give birth to baby girl, like just to look at whilst you enjoy your last few weeks at home. But yeah, they really, truly made my day. And uh, they were waiting for me on the doorstep when I got home. So Taylor, if you're watching this, I love you millions. If I can find somewhere to balance you guys and I could do a little bit of a, a bump up day. Yeah, that would work actually. I know the noise of the water running is gonna be really distracting, I'm sorry. Um, and the bathroom is a little bit of a state behind me, but here I am. <laughs> here is baby girl. Full, full term. I am now nine months pregnant. When I went to France today, a couple of the builders who did some work on this house were at her house doing some work and they were like, blimmin' heck, like, have you not had that baby yet? It looks like you're carrying twins. And I was like, excuse me. All bumps, all different shapes and size bumps are amazing. I've definitely gone on a journey with my bump 
um, from like being not very confident in it at all to now like I guess being quite confident in it but yeah they were like are you carrying twins and I was like no I'm not I feel like this to me looks like how I would expect my bump to look full time if anything I thought it would actually be a little bit bigger um, also my arm is oh, really hairy so apologies for that um, but yeah this is me. You guys have no idea how desperate I am to get this part of the bathroom finished because once these two, oh hi Eggy. Once these, this part of the bathroom is done and the like, chandelier light is hanging over the bar, then that will basically be, apart from the nursery, that will basically be the whole house done. This is kind of like our last step, to be honest. I've been enjoying my bath literally that much though, that when I'm sat in my bath, I do not even notice the fact that the wall's not finished, so it's not really been bothering me too much. But yeah, here's my dreamy little bath set up. Oh, honestly, I don't know why, I, I can't explain how happy this makes me at the minute. The bath tray was actually my Christmas present from my dad. He did such a good job. I do think Zoe gave him a little bit of help with it. Um, but honestly, when I opened that for my dad, I was so surprised because I had no idea what he got me for Christmas. Um, he asked me what I wanted and I said, I, I literally don't need or want anything, but thank you. Um, but I opened this on Christmas day and I was like, oh my God, if actually I did need something, it was this. Um, so this was from the white company, I think. And I, it's, it's so weird because I actually was going to order this exact bath tray a couple of weeks prior, but I just didn't get round to it. Um, and I never even told him that and I never told Zoe that either. So pure coincidence, but I love it so much. So yeah, this bath, tray is from the white company product wise i don't know if i spoke about this on my youtube or if i spoke about it on my instagram story but this range from the white company it's called spa restore i cannot explain to you how incredible this scent has been for me through my pregnancy this is going to be the most nostalgic memorable scent for me whenever i smell this now it's always going to remind me of my pregnancy that these have been my absolute favorite. I've also been loving a product. Let me go and get it from the shower. You can come inside my shower with me for a second. This is my little shelf that I've got going on in the shower. It does normally look a little bit tidier than this. Um, but this shower gel from Aesop, the scent is called A Rose By Any Other Name. Bit of an interesting name, but yeah. I can't explain what this smell has done for me through my pregnancy. Like it's just gonna be another one of the most nostalgic things for me. I should probably get out of my shower now. Um, but yeah, I can't explain to you. It sounds so weird and cringy and I know like I've spoken about it so much, but like, I can't explain to you guys how special and important like my self pampering times in the evenings, like especially my, like when I have my evening bath, I can't explain how amazing that time has been for me through my pregnancy. Like it's just been the time that I've cherished the most. Like when I get in the bath by myself in the evening and I have my candle on, my white company products, and my sponges to squeeze the bubbles out of. Like that has been just the best thing on the planet for me. And I hope that feeling of like loving it so much doesn't go away when I am not pregnant anymore because oh, I just love it all so much. I'm gonna jump in the bath now and watch some YouTube. Feeling to know right now. Obviously because I haven't vlogged. Good morning. Oh, it's Good morning, everybody. I'm so sorry after my bath yesterday me being me I failed with carry on vlogging like carrying on vlogging for the evening um but it's a new day today it's the next day it's nine o'clock in the morning I'm just waiting for I'm just waiting for Holly to come around to do my makeup and my hair guy today to come around and do my hair for the filming we've got on today I've actually got on one of my new zip up hoodies that I got from Hollister yesterday because every single hoodie you see behind me is in a size probably a size medium um and they just like literally not a single one of them fits anymore um so i picked up a really nice zip up hoodie and i also got a new pair of leggings because honestly i am honestly i'm so huge like i am literally humongous i was looking at myself in the mirror this morning naked in the mirror um before i got in the shower and i was like whoa like that's a big lady that's a big mama like she is she's big um which is a good thing I'm literally two weeks away from basically giving birth, so, you know, you'd like to think, oh, hang on. Right, I'm going to run downstairs now and make myself a bowl of cereal because I think I mentioned this in my last video, my Q&A, um, my first trimester hunger's come back, like, ooh, I am literally starving all the time. Like, I wake up with that sort of morning sickness feeling at the minute, 
which is so strange because they say in the last couple of weeks of your pregnancy like your appetite's meant to completely die down um because your stomach is like literally squashed from the baby but for me i'm like where's the food at like i need everything i'm literally starving good morning I'm in a little bit of a rush, as per, um, but the car has just arrived outside to take me to filming. My hair and makeup is now done. It feels nice. It was so nice to see Holly and, um, yeah, have a little bit of a glam session. But obviously, because my face is, a, like, well, it's quite swollen compared to what she normally would do. I was like, I hope you're ready to use, like, a whole bottle of foundation on literally one cheat. Try and quickly make myself a bowl of cereal or something now just to make some toast before I head off because I still don't have breakfast yet. And then, yeah, up to Morecambe we go. So that's like an hour away in Lancashire. Um, so yeah, it's about an hour's journey. A million and one questions must be running through your guys' head right now in regards to this vlog, and I wish I could answer them for you. The only answer I've got is that I'm fully aware it's a shambles. Like, it's still the same day as me going off to the filming. However, I'm very much back now. <laughs> It's very much the evening. I was actually just gonna scrap the footage from this morning and then just start again tomorrow. But now I'm in the gym and I'm in my pajamas and I'm gonna go on the Peloton. I'm expecting you guys to be able to keep up with me and like my brain, but I can't keep up with myself. See, now you know it's the same day. I'm not lying because my hair is still styled from this morning. So that is not a lie, I promise. I've also not shown you anything of our home gym yet. And I'm definitely not ready to show you any more than this angle that you're seeing because it's not quite finished yet and I only want to show you guys when it's fully finished. I mean, you're seeing a lot of it right now. Tommy has a little workout to do on the treadmill. He just needs to get some steps in just to finish off his day. And he was like, please come in the gym with me. Please come in the gym with me. Like, I want someone to chat to. And I was like, right, I'll just sit on the Peloton then next to you. But I'm not getting out of my pyjamas. So I am going to do a little Peloton class. Like this. I actually need to give you guys an update on the gym because no tea, no shade. This has never been a channel for that, as you guys know. Like, I just, I just keep my mouth zip-tied on everything. But boy, have we had problems getting this gym finished. It's been like the one project in the house that didn't really go to plan um, in terms of builders and the work being done and like the time that we got quoted it would take for the gym to be done versus the time it's actually taken and it's still not finished yet we're still waiting on things for it so much money has been spent on this garage gym conversion like it was actually probably the most expensive project of the whole house like renovation work that we did and because of like building work and stuff not being done the way i wanted it to like it i don't know like the special just kind of got taken away from this part of the renovation project but we'll talk about that later <laughs> I can't believe I'm coming on camera like this. Um, I decided with the Peloton um, trainers, I decided just to keep them like clipped in and then when I want to use the Peloton, I just put my feet into the trainers that I've already clipped in. Hey. Oh, I'm out of Hey, shot. sisters. Oh, hey. Oh, God. Say hey, sisters. James. Say hey, sisters. James Charles. James Charles here. Oh, babe, can you switch on the plug for me? Yeah, is that the one I put my softies on, yeah? Oh no, you can see, guys, you can see my cellulite. And I also can see straight through the crap. <laughs> so if you don't mind, check yourself down, Ariana. Ariana Grande. Right, are you ready? Yeah. You're going to spin. Oh, There's only one switch. There's not. There is. There's not. Yes. There is, been. It's not coming on. Ride. Your first time riding? Welcome to the family. We are so thrilled that you are here. Now, beginner ride is a great time for us to get familiar with the concept and focus on pace. Really focusing on the pedal strokes and using. Oh, yeah! Right. 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 Tell everyone your dilemma. Oh, I've got a fat chin. <laughs> Who over here watches Zoe's videos? If you don't, no one. <laughs> then, then you need to. No one. But anyway, guys, we are 
I'm not going to sit here and apologise for the fact that this vlog has been a complete shambles because I've already done that like 20 times. Today, guys, we are actually going for afternoon tea. I just think it's hilarious. Wait, hang on, I don't know where we're going. I don't actually know my no, way there. My maps. Yeah. It says it's like 10 minutes away. No, it is. I just need to know the rough. We're going for afternoon tea because um, we had a voucher for Christmas. The voucher was going to run out and <laughs> um, I panicked and booked afternoon tea for us, which is really hilarious. And it's really funny because <laughs> it's like what? I just, yeah, me and you going for afternoon tea is just honestly comical and I just know we're going to get there because the place that we're going to, it's like, it is nice. It's like a, it's like a country club type thing, but I just know we're going to be the only people there because who is going for <laughs> afternoon tea at one o'clock uh, yeah, on a party? Yeah, one o'clock on a Basically, Zoe, as you guys know, well, you might not know, but Zoe's currently as of right now in the army but she actually handed in her resignation to the army handed in my notice she handed in her notice um about a year ago now yeah well april yeah and that's how much notice you have to give with the army there's like people i remember when i had to give like when i worked at boots i had to give like four oh, weeks yeah, notice or yeah. something i was like oh four weeks notice yeah, or you imagine having like to give a year yeah so then you if you basically if you're joining the army just really think about it because <laughs> you if you don't like it you have to stay there for a year. Well, you have to do four years. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Explain that. You so have that's to do. Insane. So basically, you sign up, and you've got seven weeks. I think it is. I think maybe a bit less to say no. This isn't for me. Once you get past that seven-week point, you um, are stuck. You are. Yeah, you're in for, for a minimum four of four years. years. <gasps> um, you can't sign off basically until you get to four years, and then once you've hit four years, you can sign off, but you still then have to do another year. So um, it's minimum five years, really. Well, yeah, unless unless, unless like notice at three, unless like you know real um, a problem. Yeah, there's real circumstances. We've got a new venture coming up. Yeah, so I'm going to do online coaching. So if anyone wants to be <laughs> online coaching, wait, no, you've got to plug it better than that. No, I'm, I don't. Am I going down here? Yeah. No, I'd, guys, this is really good. It's big. Zoe's no, going to be. Is. I know. I'm, I know. But like I this know. lighting, I don't. Do you think I'll use any of this footage because this lighting <laughs> is so bad? We're literally in broad sunlight. Like, how did you find that journey in my car? Um, so I did, didn't even notice that you were driving. Like, when we were in this car. So, <laughs> so he was like, "I'll drive," and I was like, "No, I'll drive." Zoe, so I think, still low key a bit scared that I actually <laughs> do drive. <laughs> Guys, we've come to the wrong place. Guys, we've come to the wrong place. Oh, I'm and also, Zoe, are you computing that it's one o'clock right now? <laughs> yeah, but we've missed our allotted time. I don't time. think they're going to be overly booked up. Oh, That's a real shame. Go we went in. Left. Go to the lake. <laughs> <Turn> <laughs> left. Sorry. I thought you meant just, I'll just pop next door. So we, no, it's freezing. <laughs> it's freezing. Um, oh, what if this place that we're going to is really awful? Listen. Guys, we went and um, yeah, we got a reservation at one o'clock for Zoe and he went, no you don't. <laughs> what, <laughs> what's your name, Hakes? Hakes. 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 <laughs> Hakes. Hakes. Oh, oh guys, no. <laughs> I've got tears. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> when I pictured it, right, this is exactly what I pictured. It's literally like, it's like what I manifested it. <laughs> so guys. <laughs> We're here for afternoon tea. Um, <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> As you can see, it's absolutely packed. It's um, we were lucky to get a table. Oh god! Oh, oh heartbreak. Let's <laughs> just, just eat this kind of rice. Look at me. I, I look like I'm going to the Ritz. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a ball gown. <laughs> I bought my Chanel out that I never used. They did giggle when we came in. No, they didn't. 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 No, I don't like my nose. I'll have all these top shelves. <laughs> you can have all you like ham, don't you? And that's oh, yeah. cheese. I'll have the tuna. I'll have to have the tuna. Okay. Civilised lady. <laughs> Moment of truth. It's no, I just tried it and it's actually really, really good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Like it's most tuna now, <laughs> yeah. So, gang, the sister day out. I keep having a stutter today. <laughs> the, sister, the, the, the sister day out continues, and we are now at. Trafford Centre, my favourite place. Zoe was saying when I was parking up, she was like, God, you really know your way around here. Like, I was literally cutting around I'm in the car. In the car, around the car park, like <laughs> it was no one's business. But I do come here a lot. 
I really enjoy it here. It's part of a great space. Yes. Um, so we're going to head in, maybe do a little bit of shopping. I still really want to find a new tracksuit for my hospital bag to wear home from the hospital, but I've not found one I like yet. So maybe I'll have a look for that. Maybe you get some. To go to Primark, didn't you? I know I want to go to Primark, but the annoying thing is about the Primark here is that it's like in a bit of a different place. You have to walk over, and it's a bit long. So we've made it to Face Gym. Got a lot, to, lot to update you guys on. Um, but I just got a boost. And yeah. Zoe's first time at Face Gym, so I'll let you know how she gets on. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> so guys, we've just come to Waggers. Stephanie Lamb has joined us, and I don't know why I've got my main meal before any of the like other stuff. And you guys have got nothing. I haven't made my main meal before yeah. you got my drinks or anything. Drinks are literally just got me. Um, I was going to get something a bit healthier, but then I just thought I probably won't end up liking it, so I just got a katsu curry standard. <laughs> What are we doing? Going swimming. Yeah. Wow, we've had such a great sister day. I've got so much to update you guys on when we get home. I'm going to show you what I bought at Selfridges. And so he's going to tell you about her face gym experience. Yeah, I've got a lot to share about that. Um, but Do I look any skinnier? No. I think our skin both looks quite nice though. Probably look really similar right now. What do you mean? Let's try and look the most similar we can. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, we're going swimming. Tommy's here as well. We can do a couple of lengths and then we're going to go and use the spa. We're going to do 10 lengths minimum. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I can do that. Um, so yeah, we're going to go do some swimming. I can't wait to go in the swimming pool. We've only got an hour till it shuts. The day has just like ran away with us. Um, but yeah. Huh? How is it? Good. Zoe's loving it, guys. When Zoe comes to stay up more, she's going to get a membership here. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, this is our little, this is our gym um, and like the spa facilities. Not that I can really use a lot because obviously when you're pregnant, it is limited. But that's like a spa through there. You can get massages and stuff. Then through there's like the outdoor bit. It's all heated and like a jacuzzi. So nice. And then there's a really good looking guy. I'm gonna go up and ask him for his number. One sec. He might have a girlfriend. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, are you single? No, I'm sorry. I've got uh, a child on the way and I've got a missus. Correct answer. Well done. <laughs> you win. <laughs> We've been back from swimming and the spa for a while now, but I had a bath. I really didn't need to put myself in any more water today because this morning I woke up had a shower, washed my hair, then we obviously went swimming and then I came home and then had a bath and my skin is literally, my skin is drying out so much, like my eczema. I'm actually causing myself, you can't really see it, but I'm actually causing myself to have really, really bad eczema flare-ups just because of how much time I'm spending in the water, but I can't stop because obviously my pregnancy craving has basically been like clean water. Um, and I've had a lot of that today. It's been a really great day for my pregnancy craving, actually. Also, don't mind if you can see that my... Oh, it's so bad. I have never, ever felt more insecure than I do right now in my teeth. But I'm going to the dentist on Monday. Not that they're going to be able to do anything to sort it, because they've already told me that whilst I'm pregnant, they won't do anything to my teeth. They even suggested that whilst I'm breastfeeding, they also won't do anything to my teeth. But, like, all of my edge bonding is just completely coming away and I can't whiten my teeth because you're not allowed to whiten your teeth whilst you're pregnant and I literally it's getting to the point where I'm watching my vlog footage back and I'm like I I am so beyond not confident in my teeth like it's making me not want to post the footage which is like really unlike me because I literally never get what I look like on my vlogs but with my teeth like I think teeth for me is just a different thing like I just don't like looking like I've got bad gnashes you know I'm gonna talk you through what we bought, that's bread. Bread is so vocal at the minute. He's like so, oh, he's just so noisy, like meowing all the time. Um, makes me feel like he's, I don't know, you do hear my th thighs slapping together then. Um, yeah, when either of the cats meow a lot, it makes me worry that they're like trying to tell me something. But I don't think it is because they've been fed, they've got water down, they've got biscuits down, like they literally are the most spoiled cats in the world. We actually had a really successful little shopping trip. I'm not, I bought a lot of tracksuits in Selfridges, 
but they are to be packed in my hospital bag so I'm not going to show you them in this video um, and I actually got a lot like a lot a lot so I'm not going to sit here and like, show you every single tracksuit because we'll be here all day oh, I'm not about to brush it I brushed my teeth so thank you oh, yeah she just got me kind of bueno, but I've already brushed my teeth so I won't be that having that treat. thank you there's a the tangy there if you want it. my hair <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, hang on Oh no. No, I thought we were matching too. My pyjamas are from Tesco. When I went food shopping there the other day, I saw these in FNF. I'll quickly show you a couple of beauty bits that I picked up um, from Selfridges. So I got this dry shampoo. This is by a brand called Living Proof. I've been following this girl on TikTok. She's called Olivia. I think her name's Olivia Rose, and she's just had a baby so she's got a newborn son at the minute and she said that any new mums need this dry shampoo she said it's absolutely amazing so i picked that up in the hopes that in a few days time it's gonna be very very useful to me you don't have time to wash in your hair i know let's just see if it's got a nice I should try that too. Well, it comes out nicely already yeah but it's not i can't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving nothing oh no no it's nice it's nice, it's fresh. Yeah, just, just, yeah it's fresh. Like it smells like dry shampoo, yeah. And then I also picked up just a shampoo and conditioner from Kerastase. Whilst I've not got my extensions in, my extensions are now out. I forgot to tell you guys that. I'm surprised I actually lasted as long as I did with them in. Um, I plan to have them out a lot sooner in my pregnancy, but um, obviously, as you guys know, I've worked with Beauty Works for literally, basically as long as I've been alive for now. Um, so I just always have my extensions in. For birth and the last couple of weeks of my pregnancy, I've decided to have them taken out. To be honest, it's actually more so I can go swimming and not have to worry about my hair because that's really been stopping me from going swimming and I've been loving swimming recently. Um, if you've got extensions, you, like, God, you just can't really... Swimming and extensions is not, it's not the one, is it? And then I didn't actually get this today. I got this yesterday. Just ripped the whole bag. Um, but I've told you guys about this shop before in Manchester. It's called End. Very trendy, like it's far too cool for me. Um, but I went in there and I picked up a Byredo. I don't know how you'd say Mojave? 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 I don't know if the J is silent. If I'm Mojave? Mojave Ghost? No, um, say Mojave. Mojave Ghost. Mojave Ghost. Uh, well, right, it, it was on a really high shelf, and the shop assistant was like, "Which one do you want?" And I was like, "Ghost." <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know how to say the first word. Um, but I've got this in in a perfume in my collection, and I saw it came in a shower gel. And obviously, as you guys know right now, my obsession is shower gels. So I picked that up yesterday from the very cool shop in Manchester. Crazily, I actually picked some stuff up stuff up in Zara. This has got to be the first time I've shopped in Zara in about. This is going to sound like an exaggeration, but it's not probably like over a year every single time i've gone into zara over the course of the last 12 months i've just literally not found anything um, that i like at all or i'll find something and then i look at the queues especially in trafford center i think i've just exposed myself um and the queues are always so long i'm like it's not worth it for like the one item that i want but to be fair how bad was our experience in zara today oh, horrendous the worst i've ever had so basically we were stood in the queue for like at least 50 minutes and we were still like only halfway through the queue. I'd say we were in the queue for like 25 minutes. Do you think? Yeah. Not 50. <laughs> we were in the shop for an hour and we'd been wandering around for 10 minutes, picked up a few things and we oh. thought, right, let's, go, let's get in the queue. So Basically, we were still like so far off being at the front of the queue. So we decided to do self-checkout. Yeah, we, we only just saw it. We were like, oh my God. Yeah, we were like, self-checkout. We'll just do that. Well never again do not recommend wouldn't recommend to a friend to do self-checkout at zara it was you have to um we only had four items and it took us well took us 20, so long five minutes so we were in there an hour um but basically you know when you work in like when um you buy clothes and they have security tags on well you have to take your own security tags off when you do um self-checkout so it has like the little like i've always wanted to do that to be because it always looks so funny you know, when you go i've not done it yet like it's in a lot of shops really yeah you know, we have to push it in and it goes Rrr. well that wasn't working for like all of the clothes and then then I ended up buying a pair of shorts that we didn't even get just for the sake of trying to make it the whole experience a lot quicker yeah, I bought myself a £10 pair, of, pair of, shorts, of shorts that we didn't even get because the whole experience was just, just taking that long so yeah that was a bit yeah. annoying got this little black body warmer I've been wanting to pick one of these up for ages I told Zoe that I tried one of these on from Lululemon about six months ago and I didn't get it and I've actually thought about it every single day since but when I'm back gymming, oh, oh, it's I've had the baby. I feel like, oh, 
I got the same, but in um, khaki. Yeah, really nice. I like the You've actually already had it, but you said it didn't last very well. Um, I think it was. It wasn't. I think it was from Bershka, you know. Oh, Basically, really? the padding was, went like really thin. Yeah. So this coat. I mean, I've never seen a more me coat ever in my life. So. I saw it on the hanger and basically I've just farted on the floor and hurt. <laughs> yeah, I I I'm just going to keep that in. Um, <laughs> so my face. wind at the minute, I'm not going to lie, it's really, really bad. I've never heard you fart like you're farting. I know, really. it's always you. Yeah. Um, so basically, <laughs> I don't love the green lining, but we won't really look at that. So this coat is a mixture of basically a bomber jacket and like a smart blazer coat, um, which is like my favourite, two types of favourite jackets combined in one. Um, and I did think it was actually going to look that nice when I tried it on, but, oh sorry, I actually think it's so cool. Obviously, picture it not with me wearing pyjamas, but I just love it. Yeah, I, really I mean, it like was it. quite expensive, I'm not going to lie, I think it was like a hundred and... I think that's normal for a heavy Zara coat like that. Is it? Yeah, very normal. Like a hundred and nine pounds, I think this was, to, to be precise. And then I know at the start of this vlog, um, I said that I'd also been to Trafford Centre, been Selfridges and picked up some bits from... Hollister and Skims. Um, the Hollister bits I just bought a couple of bras from Jilly Hick. Basically, what did you get in a minute. From Hollister that was quite nice. Well, in here, quickly, oh, just to give yeah. you an example of the kind of things that I pick up from there. Just really yeah. soft so you bras. Can, you, can get that you can literally get that from Primark. Three for ten pounds, exactly like that. No, I wear. no, not that softness. Really so soft. Yeah, soft. So soft. Feels lovely quality. Um, I picked up as well. I love the zip-up hoodies um, and this is just a really nice oversized grey zip-up hoodie from Skims from Skims I just got a couple of basics I actually bought this for the hospital as well and I also bought a couple of vest tops because a lot of women say they give birth in a vest top even though vest tops I find the most unflattering I thing do. ever on me like they make my arm I just I've never ever felt confident in a top like this but I think when I'm pushing a child out, yeah, it's really, really not going to matter, is it? Really. I think having little basics like this in my suitcase for the hospital will be really handy. Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of damage this week. And Zoe and I had a lovely day out today, didn't we? Honestly, oh, the nicest day. face gym. This has turned out to be a really long segment of the vlog, sorry. Um, but Zoe, basically, I don't think I prepped Zoe right for face <laughs> gym. Because I, I think she thought it was going to be like a relaxing facial, but... I mean, I literally plug face gym so much, it's ridiculous mm. at this point, but mm. <laughs> basically... My first face gym experience, it, I had a great time, I was just a bit shocked. Yeah, it's not It's not a relaxing facial, it's it's called face gym for a reason. They work out your face. Yeah, they like hit your face. Yeah, it's like, like so they do really this... Really pushing yeah, down, like, but, oh god. But it's not, you know, there's different types of facials you can get from there. But I get one called Signature Hands, which I always get asked actually, like, what facial do you get? I get Signature Hands because through pregnancy you're not really allowed actually any, to have anything else. But basically they, I don't, it's like, they basically slap your face up. They like, you know, yeah. they give you a little bit of a rough around, but it's, you do see it. I think, I personally think you see a bit of a different. Anyway, guys, I think on that note, we're going to head to bed. See you later. Night. Do we look quite similar? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no. Zoe? It's gonna, because she was in there about an hour ago. <laughs> it lasts three to four hours. No, it doesn't. So, guys, it's the next day. You look very squashy. Do you mean fat? Squashy. Yeah, does that mean fat? Yeah. Zoe's going now. I'm going now. I'm going back soon. So, basically, to explain, it's the next day. Yeah. Our sister day was yesterday. Yeah. And today, what we we had to oh, we had to go back. To, very similar to guess today. what? We had to go back to the travel oh. centre again because though we bought an earring and it didn't fit in her ear. So they had to re-pierce my ear. So they had to re-pierce her ear. Now I'm off. Um, yeah, now she's off. She's actually going to go and stay with my dad tonight because my dad doesn't live too far away now. I say my dad, our dad. Tommy has just ordered a Nando's for us for our dinner, haven't you? I sure have. Well, we've ordered a healthy Nando's. Well, you've probably what, like, literally got a chicken breast and some veg. No, I've got half a chicken, uh, some rice, and some broccoli very healthy um, and I'm going to close this vlog off for now guys I'm going to run myself a bath I was going to go to the gym with Tommy tonight because he's going to go to the gym but I think I just need to rest because I have been up, down, sideways, backways, whatever you want I've been running around like a headless chicken so anyway guys for now I'm going to close off this vlog and I've got another video coming really really soon so if, I if you made it to the end of this video then I love you millions if you made it to the end of this video then you're very bored <laughs>
<laughs> no. You're mean. I'm joking. Right, guys, we'll see you soon. <laughs> and I love you all. Bye.